The new CSIS survey of strategic elites in Southeast Asia suggests a strong expectation that China's economic and political influence will grow in the coming years, but not to the point that it surpasses the combined weight of the United States and like-minded allies and partners, countries like Japan and Australia. There is clearly anxiety about U.S.-China strategic competition in the region, but not for the same reasons everywhere. In Vietnam, there's worry that China might prevail, whereas in countries like Singapore, there's concern that they might get dragged into this fight and have to choose sides. Democracy gets high points among elites in Southeast Asia and defines their aspirations and expectations for the region much more than the authoritarian model being advanced by Beijing. Overall, regional elites would like to see the U.S. engage more, but there's anxiety that we're not stepping up to that task. As to name the most important institution for the region, respondents from all the countries named ASEAN as clearly the most important. With the exception of Vietnam, which named the Quad and the Free and Open Indo-Pacific as more important frameworks. When asked to choose among different ASEAN-led mechanisms, including the East Asia Summit, ASEAN itself, the ASEAN Regional Forum, and ADMM Plus, to address a variety of regional issues, ASEAN again emerged as the clear favorite for addressing a large range of issues, with the ADMM Plus coming in as top ranked for addressing security cooperation and security challenges. The East Asia Summit was seen as most important for economic cooperation and integration. Three key trends run throughout this report. Firstly, the speed, breadth, and depth of China's political and economic influence throughout the region. Secondly, the commitment by respondents to our survey to the rule of law, to democratic values, and human rights. Thirdly, the rise of Australia as a preferred security partner to emerging nations such as Vietnam and the Philippines. CSIS also polled Fijian elites on the issues most important to the Pacific Islands. What it found is that Australia is still seen as the preeminent player in the region, but over the next 10 years, China is expected to meet parity and on the economic front surpass Australian influence. Fijian elites unsurprisingly ranked natural disasters and climate change as the most important security threats facing their nation. So what this all tells us is that if the United States wants to have an effective policy to engage the Pacific Islands, it needs to do so on the issues they care about most, especially climate change, where the U.S. has squandered important credibility in recent years, and that the U.S. should partner with its ally, Australia, and to a lesser degree, New Zealand, but also needs to carve out its own space to play in the region. These are important lessons for policymakers and for us all. You can check out the results and the analysis on CSIS.org.